Hey guys, welcome to uh, fifth grade, chapter two, lesson seven. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. It says, Marsha has 412 bouquets of flowers for centerpieces. She uses eight flowers for each centerpiece. How many centerpieces can she make? So we are going to go ahead and get started, okay? Eight is not gonna go into four, placeholder, okay? Eight will go into 41. Five times, five times eight is 40. Get one, okay? One is smaller than eight. I can bring down my two. Eight's gonna go into 12, one time. One times eight, eight, subtract four, okay? Now, now this one, it wants us to put the remainders, so it wants us to put the remainders into a fraction. Well. So four is gonna be my top number and eight is going to be my bottom number, okay? The only problem with that is that four over eight is able to be reduced. So we're still gonna have 51, that's not gonna go anywhere, okay? But four over eight, four goes into four once and four goes into eight twice. So 51 and a half center pieces. Hopefully you guys can read that, okay? All right, so we are gonna do number three together, okay? All right, number three says, on the fifth grade class picnic, 50 students share 75 sandwiches equally. How many sandwiches will each student get? So, let me start here. 50 is definitely not gonna go into seven, but it will go into 75. So, one time, oh, I didn't put my clay folder in, look at that. One times 50 is 50, okay? So when I subtract, I get 25, okay? So now, where normally I would put a decimal, move it up, put a zero, bring it down. This time, I'm going to take my remainder, that's my top number, take my divisor, that's my bottom number. Now. We're still gonna have our one, but 25 goes into 25 and 50. Think about quarters, okay? If you have one quarter, that's 25 cents. Two quarters, that's 50 cents, okay? So 25 goes into 25 once, 25 two quarters goes into 50 cents. So one and a half sandwiches. Okay? All right, so numbers, four through six, you guys are gonna do those. You totally can. The lesson check on the back, you guys are also gonna do. You totally can, I have faith, okay? We are gonna go on to our spiral review. It's important to remember what we've learned already. So we're gonna go ahead and get to that, okay? So number three on spiral review says that Jason earns $196. And I'm just right? $196 each week bagging groceries at the store. He saves half of his earnings. So whatever it is, we're dividing by two. He saves half of his earnings each week. How much money does Jason have per save per week? Okay. So in order to know how much he saves, we need to go ahead and divide. Okay. Now we're doing it in two. If you think about it, if you think about a sandwich, you would cut it in half by cutting it in two. So when it says he saves half, that's how I know I'm dividing by two. Okay, so two is not gonna go into one place saver. Okay, two will go into 19, nine times because two times nine is 18. Nine minus eight is one, one minus one is zero. So now one is smaller than two, so I can bring down my six. Two goes into 16, eight times, eight times two is 16, subtract and I get zero. On this one, your dollar sign is your label, so $98, okay? All right, number four, okay. Number four says Desiree swims laps for 25 minutes each day. How many minutes does she spend swimming laps in 14 days? So 25 minutes in one day, she did it for 14 days, so let's multiply, okay? Four times five is 20, carry your two. Four times two is eight, plus two more is 10, okay? Now we go to Tick, tack, toe, 
and 1 times 25 is 25. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Now I need to add those up. Okay. 0, 5, 3, 350 minutes. Okay. All right, guys, that was number four. We're going to go into number five. You guys have to remember that when you are doing these um, word problems that you have to label. It is important that you label. Okay, so number five says Steve is participating in a bike-a-thon for charity. He will bike 144 miles per day. Uh-oh, I set this up wrong. Look at that. 144 miles per day. He will do that for five days. How many miles will he bike in five days? So see, these word problems fit my day out sometimes too, okay? So five times four is 20, carry that two. Five times four again is 20, plus two more is 22, carry your two. Five times one is five, plus two more is seven. 720 miles. He's going to be very tired. Okay, number six. Kathy is building a patio. He has 136 bricks. He wants the patio to have eight rows, each with the same number of bricks. How many bricks will Kathy put in each row? Now, could we make rows of eight until we get to 136? Yes, but that would be a very long process. So we are just going to divide, okay? So eight is not going to go into one. Eight will go into 13 one time. One times eight is eight. 13 minus 8 is 5. 5 is smaller than 8, so I can bring down my 6. 8 goes into 56. 7 times. 7 times 8 is 56. 0. Okay, so 17 brick. There you have it, guys. All right. Pause. Do whatever you need to do to make sure you're showing your work, please. That was 5 point, or sorry, 5th grade 2.7. Come on back for 2.8. We'll see you soon.